All right, let's get started. Happy Tuesday. No, happy Thursday. Uh, how are we all doing today? We're a little early because I got to get out of here a little early and I want to be crasher awake today. That's the goal. We just got to fight his gym trainers and then we're good to go. What up, Dirty Oxygen? What up, Rai Matang? What up, Darrell? What up, Bruh, SV, Malcon, Vilcav, Shabba, but, uh, that guy again, the Ding Dong, that one. What's up? What's up to you? What's up, Lightning Turkey? Good to see everyone. Ah, we are, um, we're on Pressure Wake. And it is a time. This team is incredibly difficult. Not not a fan. Not a fan. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is, as they say. X and Y is killing me. Oh, just lost your first Nuzlocke? That's rough. I'm prepping for my grad school interview tomorrow and trying not to panic. It's not working. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What's the interview? You're, you're fine. You got it. Don't worry. Go hide as a crow gunk. Hmm. I could. The thing is, I'm sick and tired of, of hiding. You know? Sick and tired of it. All right, well, homie here, just life orb, blah, 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 you know, so. Bum, bum, bum. Look at, like, I don't know, Shiftry a chance or Victory Bell? Dun, 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 dun. I think you'll be fine, you know? Are you feeling the love in the air tonight? I don't know, JP. I don't knew. I don't knew. <laughs> we have a min special attack Cherum. Why? Who who does these things to me? For what reason are these things done? <laughs> Um, what's going on? Who are we, who are we talking about? Alright, this is a good little squad to go in with. I don't know, man. Whatever. <clears throat> we are just gonna try and um, beat these trainers before we, you know, have to do a whole thing. That's the goal. Where's, what's a homie gotta do to get a choice scarf? Where's my choice scarf at? Where'd you land lubbers put my choice scarf? Somewhere. Where do we think it is? Who's it on? Interesting. Would not have guessed that. Rather odd. What do you think of the Charlotte finals? Um, I only watched the first game, Ian. Um, and it was like the one where it would look like, it looked like uh, what's his name was gonna win and then Wolfie won. And I was like, okay, I see where this is going. Wolfie's just phenomenal at the game. Um, Charlotte was fun though. There was a lot of really cool game, uh, cool games, cool teams. Um, yeah. But yeah, I only I only watched the first one, unfortunately. Wait a minute. Who? Tuber Jeffy? Is that this kid? Tuber Jackie? Is this YouTuber Jackie? Yeah, there's only one tuber in the gym. All right, well we have to fight him, so let's let's get him out of the way. What do you think, Ian? Oh, Ian, I I discovered this new 
um, VGC person that I've been watching. I think I actually, did I tell you about him? I don't know. His name, I I don't actually remember his name. I think it's Pokey Berm or something. Does that sound right? Pokey Berm. Um, and they make... I love that Wolfie's strategy for this one was play incredibly like I always do, but this time with a normal team. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, Pokey Berm. Um, they just did a Flygon team, which was fun, but they do like really interesting teams. They had like a Trico team that used like upper hand on Burden, Endeavor stuff. Um, but I've, I've been enjoying their content. I actually have to skip the first like two minutes of their video because they do the whole like, like in media res thing and then like and subscribe and everything like that. But other than that, love their videos. I've been I've been kind of binging that stuff. I should probably make sure these kill. Well, just barely. But yeah, look them up. This is a shout out to Pokey Berm for making a Flygon team. I subbed because of them. I had a prophetic dream last night in which I met Arceus and was given my phone to be shown a Pokemon Legends Johto reveal. Wow, that's cool. You know, they haven't announced a Pokemon game for 2025. Or no, 2024. That's this year. They haven't announced a Pokemon game for 2024. I wonder if there will be one or if they're like, nah, we'll skip a year. Let our developers see their family. So, to, you know, that whole thing. Maybe Game Freak is finally slowing down. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Still holding out hope for Pokemon Legends 2. I guess if there's something on Pokemon Legends Day. Flygon HG is famously anti-Johto. I don't know if I'm anti-Johto. I just think that there's a lot of questionable decisions made in those games in terms of design. I'm also, I'm, I'm certainly not Johto is the best or whatever. Um, Sailor Damien has Pelipper, Croconaw, and Golduck. Do any of these have Swift Swim? No. This idiot Manetric doesn't one-shot Golduck. Okay, it does if it's a level 43. So. I could see a Legends name here this year. Take year, next year off, Gen X to 2026. I think there will be something this year. I, I think there will be something both years. You, you gotta strike while the iron is hot. And if the iron's always hot, well, that's too bad. You're striking all the time, baby. That's the way of it. Sailor Demian. Wow, Tuber Caitlin is like heads and shoulders just better than Fisherman Walter. I don't even know, or I mean, uh, Tuber Jackie. Tuber Jackie gets just like nerve checked. Like, when's the last time they took a, a year off? Like in the pandemic? No, because they had Brilliant Diamond, right? Because Sword and Shield came out, what, in 2020? Or 2019? 2015 was the last year off. That That's wild. So here's a question. Why does Croconaw come out? This game, uh, this calc is starting to stress me out because it's making mistakes. Um, Celtic Fives, thank you so much for the five months via Prime, although maybe your name is Celtic Five, it depends on if you're a Boston sports fan or not. But folks, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch account and subscribe for free? I bet you won't do it. You won't do it, cowards. Prove me wrong. Only cool, only, only, only cool people are even able to sub via Prime. 
prove me wrong. We got Scarlet Violet at the end of 2023 and the DLC at the end of 2020. Oh, sorry, I misread that. DLC 2020, BDSP 2021, Arceus 2022. Oh, right. Arceus and Scarlet and Violet were both 2022. Forgot about that. Well, regardless. Um, yeah, I, I could see an Arceus game, or I wonder if it's just going to be a one off thing. Um, who's to say? All right, we got to we gotta check this lady because she's got a Zoomerel. This Tuber. Is it Tuber Chelsea? No. Is it Tuber Caitlin? Yeah, Tuber Caitlin. I could see a remake too. Is it? Is it kosher to say that I don't really want a remake? Does one eviscerate this with energy ball? Bah humbug, we need a thingy majig. Oh, we outspeed all these homies. Word. You think it's been too long since we've had a Gen 1 remake? Probably going to get another one of those soon. On the same console? Really? I don't think it'll be on the same console. Ready for chows today? Yes, I love chows. Oh, you're kidding. Well, that's on you. That's on you for trying to spread humor on the internet. Silly, 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 silly Sillerson. Um, I do have energy ball here, right? Pokemon Legends Arvin. It's just Arvin's backstory. You get to play as a small Arvin and systematically have your parents leave you one by one until you're left with zero parents because they blew up. Blew up? I thought you said my parents died in a car crash. A car crash? A car crash killed Lillian James Potter? X and Y needs a big story overhaul and to not be shafted and BW remakes come first. Yeah. Ah, it won the speed tie, but it sucks. It doesn't have a nice move. Well, it does. It has sheer cold, but... Hey, Flag, I love your YouTube channel. Thanks, Moogie Wara Big... Moogie Wara Big Boss. Moogie Wara Big Boss, I appreciate it. Uh, the Greek Man, thank you for the follow. Pig Nose Frog and JFHR, thank you for the follows as well. You heard the new Legends Arceus game is coming exclusively to Pokewalker. <laughs> the Pokewalker Pro Plus, you mean? Um, Ian, can you be a good little mod and make a prediction? Do you know how to do that even? <laughs> Can you make a prediction for Deathless Crash or Wake and set it for a 30 minute timer? Yeah, the Poke Walker was pretty fun. We're not going to revision his history and make fun of the Poke Walker, but I don't need a Poke Walker Pro Plus that's like $80. Pokewalker walked, literally, so that Pokemon Go could run. And more realistically, Pokewalker walked so that Pokemon Go could trip on itself with tap, 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 taps. 
I don't have any more trainers I have to fight, right? That was it? I think that was it. Back in my day, Poker Walker came included with the ice jigs. With the hoogs. Oh, man, we have to fight this sailor. This fucking guy. Uh, what does a sailor man have? He has... Sailor man has... Slowbro, Gastrodon, and Mantine. Ooh, don't like that. Ooh. Okay, Mantine, low-key. Sailor Samson. Bro, where's your hair? Bro. Um, oh, it only has Air Slash, but it is Swift Swim. Do we have anything that counters? No, all of my... Oh, no, we got Manny. We got Manfred. Manfred's just... Straight chillin'. Homie is straight chillin'. Wow. Dude, Manetric sucks ass. Doesn't even one-shot this Mantine. Seriously? Yo, incredible fella gaming. Thank you for the five gifted community subs. That's so generous. Confession, I've been organizing my laundry days around your streaming schedule because the little dopamine treat I used to entice myself to do laundry is watching your streams. That's adorable, and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Whatever whatever gets you, gets you out here, you know? Whatever gets you out. Um, all right, well, I mean, Gur Slorp Slorp can just... Wait, is it... Who does he lead with? Slowbro. <laughs> Slowbro, more like... Do bro blow bo do more like do do that's right do do more like do do am i right oh wow this is one shot wow 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 uh great no guy well, that'll be how we do that then. Um, Tem Tem Nuzlocke when? What the heck is a Tem Tem? Grrr, slurp slurp. Grr, slurp, slurp. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. You already have leftovers, don't you? Silly goose. Uh, what's that? That's disconcerting. That's real disconcerting. I don't, I don't like the looks of that thing. Uh, I'm gonna fix that really quick. Also, where is my Koba Berry? Can I get your opinion on something? Yeah, you, you, my opinion is that that's a weird thing to ask. It's like, just ask your question, you know? What do you mean? Can I, like, how am I supposed to possibly know what I'm agreeing to? What is number 26? I don't understand what the hell that is. I don't know. That's not even showing up in here. So here, sort, index, save. I want to start competitive battling. Should I do it? 
Yes. This has been Opinions with Flygon. Number 26 was the Void Berry. What does that mean, though? That doesn't mean anything. It's not in here. I don't see number 26. It's not, it's not how it works. I just hope it goes away. How did the horse rankings go? We only got through Gen 1 until everybody wussied out. Type null void berry. Is the evil berry still there? Oh god, I'm so scared. Oh god, it's still there, guys! There's an evil berry, should I just toss him? Okay, okay, okay. I think I think it's crisis averted. What's a void berry? Is this a thing, or are people just attributing it now to a thing? I should see what they do. <laughs> I feel like it would crash the game. I don't want to. That sounds scary. I don't think it added a fairy type berry. No, it did not. The Roselli berry. Oh, maybe I accidentally put a Roselli berry into PK Hex when I was adding all the berries. Did I do that? That might have been what I did. Yeah, it is. That's what it was. Way to sleuth, chat. Good job, Chiquinho. I mean, you didn't really get the right answer, but you 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 opened the path for the real explorer, me, to uncover the treasure. Good job, good job, Chiquinho. I'm gonna give you a solid A for assist. You assisted. Still want a poll? Yes, please. You know, I can just do it myself, but actually I would I would love to see if you can figure out how to do it. Deathless, crash your wake. Yes, no, and then some people put a wipe. You, you may want a wipe category. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Cue the Ed Sheeran song. What's the Ed Sheeran song? Treasure, that is what you are. You're my golden star. That's not, that's not Edward. That's what, that's not Edward Shiranossi, Shiranonessi. What's, what, what's Edward's actual name? Edward Shiranonessi? Isn't that it? Yeah, no, I know it's Bruno Mars. What's Edward's last name? His full last name. I think it's Shirin Onesi. Or Sh- Sh- Yeah, Sh yeah, Shirin Onesi. Edward Voidberry. Wow, so that's what happens when you try and add a Roselli Berry into the game. It does evil things. Evil, evil things. Wait, Manfred, do you one-shot this? Because if not... That's a bit of an issue. Now I got a magnet, right? I give you a magnet. I don't think I don't think Wikipedia is correct. I don't think it's just Sheeran. I think it's Sheeran Onessi. I think he changed it. Oh, Aqua Ring. Okay, good job, buddy. Did I do it? No, dude, you did it for like three seconds. <laughs> I said do it for thirty minutes. Wait, cancel this prediction. I'm, I'm canceling this prediction. Ian, you get to try again. 
I've deleted the. I've deleted it. Strike one, Ian. <laughs> I think Victory Bell's fine here. Probably should have checked a little bit closer, but whatever. Yeah, this never kills, even if it crits. Stop bullying me? Well, stop being bullyable. Huh? Have you ever reckoned with your own complicit bullying? You're complicit in your own bullying by being bullyable. Maybe, maybe stop being bullyable, and then you'll stop being bullied. Lit. Yo, this looks this looks fire. Yes, no, uh, wipey wipey. All right. Way to victim blame Flygon. Look. I'm not victim blaming. You have to really evaluate. What's worse, me bullying Ian or... You gotta evaluate the utilitarian cost. What's worse, Ian being sad that we're bullying him or us being subjected to his incompetence? <laughs> also, just so people know, just in case this isn't clear, that means you, YouTube comments. Uh, it is like my my best friend in real life, so I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never be this mean to somebody I didn't personally know. But ex but basically, basically you have to evaluate the utilitarian cost of us being subjected to his incompetence versus his misfortune in my bullying, and you evaluate which one's more. And I think that I think that there's enough people here that it outweighs his misfortune so oh we're done um i was gaslight and bullied into twitch prime subbing look that's just contributing to the economy i don't know what to tell you that's a public good that you just did did you know that subscribing via twitch prime is a public good it disseminates wealth otherwise amazon just sits on its wealth and it doesn't contribute it to the global economy. What you're doing by Twitch priming is you're taking money from Amazon and putting it back into the global market. You know what I use that money for? To buy goods and services. And those goods and services are sold by other people. This is how, this is the idealism. This is idealistic capitalism, which is the, not really how it works, but like, like that it's basically, yeah. Use that money to spoil, spoil Poppy. I do. And you know what? Poppy needs to be much spoiled. Um, and she gets a lot of stuff from Chewy. And Chewy employs people. So really by Twitch Prime subbing, you're contributing to the GDP of the United States of America. And or if you don't like America, then pretend I just didn't say that. And I don't know. Azaz Senpai, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. See, basically what we're doing is we are being warriors of activism. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I come into this stream, I'm flabbergasted by the vocabulary and concepts used by Streamer Man. That's a lot of words Washi -washi. that you just said. Yo, Dre with 15 months. Thanks, man. How you doing, dude? Um, Crash your wake. Pretty, pretty wild boss fight, Dre. Lenin would have wanted this. Would he? Was Lenin a capitalist? I thought he was a communist. I guess it's a little bit communist. To spread the wealth, but... I don't even, I don't, I don't even think it's a, I, no, 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 it's just capitalism. What I'm saying is, but like, it's like the whole points of, a, like the whole purpose of a wealth tax and an inheritance tax and stuff is so that people don't just sit on their wealth. Because if you sit on your wealth, you just get generational wealth, which is not good for the economy. But if you encourage people to spend money, which is what taxes are supposed to do, and they're also supposed to provide actually useful things to stuff instead of, I don't know, I don't know politically charged things then 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 it'd be you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Ooh, u-turn 
Oh, yo, lit? Okay, step one. Yo, we could just... Okay, this is huge. U-turn, baby. Hey, Evan said it, not me. Evan said it, not me. I didn't say it. Evan said it. But yeah, Evan, yeah, it's kind of fucked. Um... So, what... What... What I, what I, what I, what I am saying is that if you subscribe via Twitch Prime, you're taking money that's otherwise just sitting there and not doing anything and redistributing it to people and the world. That's the whole, that's the whole theory, my understanding at least, is that's the whole theory of like taxing wealth and stuff so that people don't just sit on their money and do nothing with it they spend it and that was the whole point that we got money during the pandemic was like to like contribute to the global economy because the global economy was suffering so really what we're doing by subscribing via twitch prime is helping the global economy I just noticed Grumpig is called Spider Ham, and now I'm even more convinced Perugly should have been called T'Chubby. We gotta let go of T'Chubby. The dream is over. The people spoke. People didn't want T'Chubby. I'm sorry. No, but you don't understand that uber rich need their money in order to make themselves more money. That's a very valid point. Why am I not doing this on speed up? I, I actually kind of like didn't think about the feelings of the uber wealthy. That's that's on me. That's on me. It won't happen again. Sorry. My bad. Oopsie daisy. If the dream is over, why is there a name changer in the game? You it, Just because something is in the game doesn't mean you should use it, you know? The dream is over. We have to move on. Metal Burst, that's interesting. My cat stepped on my keyboard. I think she wanted to say hi. Hi, Dirty Oxygen's cat. How are we doing today? You enjoying the stream? What will the uber rich ever do with their Hamptons beach houses? I don't know. At least a house is a thing that they bought, so it adds money to the, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I most definitely do not own a cat. Oh, sorry, Key Dickin. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong, wrong username. My humblest apologies. Not sure if you didn't see this or ignored it, but... This might be a personal question. I'm going to read this to myself first before reading it out loud because sometimes I want to ignore things. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. All right. No, no, no. That's, that's a valid question. Um, long story short, I would recommend you to get your PhD if the thing that you absolutely want to do cannot be done without a PhD. Um, I would say that my PhD experience, I got a lot from it. I learned about it, um, but I can't, like I was in a fortunate position to, for example, not have student loans. So like, like it didn't necessarily negatively impact me to not immediately start making money but you make very little money in grad school and stuff you're you're worked a lot for very little pay um and there's a lot of systems in place that are really stupid um but you can find really great people you can find really inspiring professors to work with stuff like that so it's not like it's like void of merit or anything like that but it takes so long, um, it's so needlessly complicated. Um, and especially unless you're in like a science field, which you said neuroscience, so I guess it would probably apply, but there's a lot of like, 
humanities PhDs and stuff where like you just don't get funding so you're kind of screwed and you have to like work crazy hours and also probably have to hold a job etc 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 where it's just like unless you want to be a professor unless you want to do some other thing that requires having an advanced doctorate degree it's probably not worth it I think it made me a really good writer which low-key I use um, in, in, in this line of work, it's a very different type of writing, but, um, I'm, I think I'm very good at disseminating information and teaching and making things clear and, um, trying to be cognizant of like keeping stuff digestible and understandable, but you also don't have to do a four to six year PhD to get that. Um, so that's sort of my, my, my thing, like. Basically, basically. I don't regret doing what I did. I don't know if I would do it again if I had the opportunity. Um, I think I would personally probably have just gone straight into uh, industry, made more money quicker. Um, and then if I still wanted to be a YouTuber when the pandemic hit, great. But if not, I would have been like four years further in, oh, whoops, four years further into a career. Um, We'll, we'll just change to Chala back to 44. Not a big deal. Close combat. Interesting. Wanted to go into neuroscience research specifically in regards to PTSD and how it affects memory storage and recall. That's really cool. Godspeed. I gave up on it, and all of my friends who did PhDs got depressed. Well, that's just being an adult. If you're not at least a little depressed as an adult, then you're not paying attention. Uh, flamethrower, that's pretty good. But, yeah, I mean... My mental health was at my lowest <laughs> in grad school. But I don't know if that was because of the PhD or if it was just like a byproduct of like having a very rigid structure as a student athlete and then um, that not being a thing anymore and not being able to like reckon with what your life means without the rigidity of and like structure of sports. People don't talk about that much when student athlete this, student athlete that. And it's like, oh wait, is your life completely devoid of purpose after you're no longer allowed to compete in the sport that you dedicated like eight years of your life to? How does that how does that happen? How does how does how does that make you feel? Nobody really reckons with that. Which sport did you play? I played cross country and track. <laughs> I run I run a little bit. I don't run as much as I should. Um I would like to get more into it. Started golfing and it has helped me so much. Before that, I struggled. I can see that. Yeah, I would. I would like to run more. You give off runner energy. That's almost certainly an insult, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I'm long distance. Or like mid D. I still hate running unless it's with friends. Yeah, we run, Ian. Oh, Ian, I actually did mean to text you. Do you want to run this weekend? Um, do you want to do like some sort of light speed workout or something? We're going to do an alumni race. We're at, we have to do an indoor mile every year as a BU alum. There's an alumni mile, so we're going to run a mile together. Night Slash! Night Slash! Mom has done four or five marathons. 
I feel like garbage. Good. You know what we should do is we should do, we should put on spikes for the whole thing and just ravage our legs. Is it in two weeks or is it in one week? Should I study library science, psychology, or education of some kind? How are we supposed to answer that question? Isn't that, that greatly depends on what you're passionate about, slash so what you want to do. Library sciences though, I did not know that was a thing. on the third oh fuck me that's next week uh-oh well we're screwed all right what workout can we do this weekend that will prime me most to will my body into going sub five minute pace that's all i want If I get on that line and don't run side five minute pace, I might as well be dead. It's the end of the road for me. Oh my god, it's in a week? That's so bad. I thought it was in two weeks. Learning cataloging, preserving old books, researching stuff. That's really cool. Speed work is going to make a huge difference. Look, you just got to remind your legs how to move fast. That's all it is. The rest of it is, is muscle memory, right? Couch to sub five in 10 days. Why did I stop at level 43? Great question. Not intentional. Completely by accident. You'd be, you'd be surprised at what your body can remember. Did I stop with 40, at 43 with all the other things too? You go in cold just to see what your lungs think? No, I think that's, that's how I die. None of these Pokemon are shitty enough to be put back in here. What's our shittiest Pokemon? Probably Luminion. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Yay, we're getting next Bloud. Is this like the first time I've ever had an X Bloud? I don't know if I've ever used an X-Bloud in a hardcore Nuzlocke. And for good reason, too. It's dog. But uh, maybe it gets Boom Burst? No, that's not a thing in this game. So yeah, this is dog. This is dog shit! I can already tell you exactly what is going to happen. I'm going to go out for the first three laps in the lead, even though I'm not fit, and then I will crash and burn as Flygon miraculously kicks to first in the last two laps. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to get first, because somebody's probably in, like, 430 shape. But I do think I can will my body into going sub-5. That's the goal. That's the goal. Although I am kind of, I am heavier now, so maybe not. Who knows? All right. Yeah, no, I've definitely used Wismer and I think Loudred in many occasions. Absolutely, I don't think I've ever used Xblood. I don't think they ever live long enough. Even in my normal, my Emerald normal run, pretty sure the Wismer died to uh, Roxanne. What's a challenge you think is too tedious slash annoying to do? 
I don't know. Um, a challenge that I think is too tedious or annoying to do. Um, maybe like fishing challenges, like fishing only. Wasn't diamond fire too difficult? Oh, I would never do diamond again because now I know that it's just, uh, it's just random. It's random uh, AI, so there's only so much you can do. You just got to hope, which is kind of stupid. Uh, oh, wait. The poison video seemed harder than you thought it would be. Yeah, it wasn't hard until the end, but somehow it got really hard. Or I mean, uh, it was, wasn't hard after the first bit, but I just got really unlucky with crits. Like I usually don't get that, that unlucky. Um, but I guess, you know, I've had decent luck recently, so it is what it is. Um, all right, so here's here's the Pokemon we have to deal with. Let's get that Pokemon music. So, Crash Your Wakes team, do a trade evolution Pokemon line, but don't actually trade the Pokemon to evolve. Interesting. Quagsire! So, Crash Your Wake has permanent rain up, so we're going to probably want to fix that immediately. Um, my sort of initial thought here, um, I've done this fight three times now, four times, three times. Um, and getting Stealth Rocks and setting up Sunny Day is pretty good for both of them at PC. And, um, because Quagsire has moves that you can pretty easily avoid. Gyarados is really nice to get damage on because it's got a Rhino Berry. So like, I'm sorry, a, uh, a Wakan Berry. So, like, if we chip it at 25%, like, and we have Life Orb on this, maybe we might be able to kill it. No, not even, but you get the idea. And then this has a Focus Sash, the Sharpedo, so we want to play around that. And with Speed Boost, it can be pretty tricky. Though we can probably stall it out with, like, a Dark-type and, uh, and Polyrath. Um, but, yeah, getting rid of the Rain is an absolute must. So, I think what I like, just, I was looking at this a little earlier today is with Quagsire, um, I could leave Chimeco. And once he's in the uh, in the, the sun, Aqua Tail doesn't do dilly squat. Um, what I would like to see is whether Chimeco can actually learn Sunny Day. I believe it can. Another cool challenge could be random type effectiveness chart and you figure it out along the way. Oh, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Dre could whip that up in a heartbeat if I ask nicely. Um, that's fun. But let me let me let me check if Chimeco. Cause the other alternative. What are my other earthquake immunities? Ninjask is ass. Um, is that my only earthquake immunity? Really? Oh, Haunch Crow, but Haunch Crow is gonna get zippy zapped by Ice Punch. But we don't want that. I'd imagine Chimeco. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> What's up, Dre? Um,. Yeah, that'd be fun to do like a random random type chart and then like not be able to fight in wild battles and only figure it out through like actual battles. Oh uh, yeah, Chimeco can learn Sunny Day. So like 
Shimeko, pretty, pretty yummy here. We can um, sunny day and then yawn and even recover until we get in a good position. We could theoretically stall this out, but I don't necessarily actually in the sun, you can't get frozen. So Chimeco could completely stall out Quag if he really wanted to with Recover. But um, what I would like to do is Yawn, Quag, switch on the Ice Punch or the Aqua Tail into, uh, and we're faster than Quag, which is the important thing. I really need some better Stealth Rock Setter Uppers. Do I have anything that's not Armaldo or Doug Trio? Trio, 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 Trio. Or Sand Slash, I suppose, but um, in the sun, this does way too much. I think Armaldo's the, the best play. Oh, we're faster than it, too. Word. Yo. The fuck? No, no shot. Are you kidding? In the sun, it does 41 to 51%? What's wrong with this Armaldo? How is that possible? Ah, uh, yeah, Dre, I'll, I'll definitely reach out. That's That sounds super chill. Minus defense, but like, that's insane. Did I click the crit button? So crit, does this crit just kills this? You kidding? That's stupid. That's dumb as shit. Um, I mean, I think we just, well, like, so Sand Slash is better here? And Sand Slash doesn't die because he's not a piece of crap. I, I can't believe that. Um, okay. I don't have any other Stealth Rocks set of uppers, right? None of these Pokemon can learn Stealth Rocks. Oh, Wigglytuff can. But, <laughs> wait. Wait. That's sick. Okay, hold on. Maybe we go tough. Kind of a hero. The hero we deserve, not necessarily the hero we need. Um, do I have any of these other Pokemon? No, 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 no. No. All right, let's let's check out the the tough. That's adorable. Yeah, and I mean earthquake gives us the perfect switch in back into um, Chimeco too. Um. All right. Also, yeah. What if we just put life orb on this baddie? Fuck me up, tough. Fuck me up. It can get sunny day, yeah, but we we can't set it up because of earthquake. Tough with the stealth rocks. Okay, so wait. Can tough learn charge beam? <laughs> We can learn solar beam. Where do we get solar beam TM in this? Uh, 210. 
So it's probably Yeah, it's after Psyduck. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. But can Tough learn, uh... Tough can learn Charge Beam and Shock Wave and Thunder Wave and Grass Knot. Yo, Bueller? Bruh. Tough kind of... Tough kind of yoked. Tough kind of yoked. Not really, this Pokemon sucks, but I think we go tough. Because worst case, we, we sack tough. It's like, it is what it is, you know? Um, does tough outspeed anything? Nothing that Armaldo would, would outspeed. Like, Armaldo's doggy. Be faster than Polly? No. Dose is 95. Um. All right. We got Chimeco and Tuff eating up spaces to get everything else set up, but then we can start evaluating. So if we kill Quaggy with, I mean, the issue, right, is that if we kill with any grass type, it's going to immediately bring out Gyarados, and then we have to deal with Dragon Dance. Um, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure Chimeco can learn Grass Knot too, right? So maybe we kill with Chimeco, that brings out Sharpedo, but then I guess it gets the speed boost right away, yeah? Um, if we kill Quag, it goes Sharpedo. Is that the end of the world? Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Fang, Zen Headbutt. It definitely goes Crunch. We've got Doom for Intim, and we also have Mawile for Intim. So, like, Mawile, Sharpedo. This can learn Thunder Fang, yeah? Ant, Sucker Punch, low-key pretty good. But uh, with nothing, waterfall is a two is a one shot. But we do go poly. Yeah, we could stall it out with Zen Headbutt. Ah. So I mean, poly is obviously coming. Po poly is a phenomenal Pokemon here, and I think poly might be able to just. Uh, stall out dose. Unless we have extraordinarily bad luck. Um. Because we can rock to this son of a gun. Rock Tomb's a four shot. I'll take it. Potential three shot. Okay, well, not really. <laughs> what about with an expert belt or like a hard stone? Might be worth it. Yeah, it makes it a guaranteed three hit kill. But I kind of want the lefty's recovery. Well, anyways, um. What's our Ludi answer? Ludo! It's Life Orb, so it's pretty easy to stall out here with a Fire type and Poly. Like, how much does it do to Hound Doom with Energy Ball? Too much. But we're faster. Eventually, it drops down. Left uh, Flamethrower kills. Bueller.
Oh, Glalie's Levitate. I did forget about that. It's a shame this doesn't learn um, Protect. I mean, uh, Stealth Rock. No, Glalie's not strong enough because it's Rock type in this game. So Aqua Tail does too much. We're almost faster, though. That's kind of cool. Um, we are faster than Polyrath, for what it's worth. Yeah, so Glalie's dog shit. Um, so like Ludi. Like what about Shiftry? Shiftry and Polly fake out each time. Profit. We're not faster. Are we at forty-five by any chance? No, it's good time. God, Ice Beam does a lot. Uh, Energy Ball still does a lot. 31 to 33%. But I feel like this plus Polly, I wonder if we can even Vacuum Wave on Polly. How much do you do? 11%, huh? But Shiftry's got the Fake Out and the Sucker... No, it doesn't get Sucker Punch. Son of a crap. What about this? How specially defensive are you? Loki better, and you get Sucker Punch after a hot second. We can protect Sucker Punch. Also, Jesus Christ, look at, him, look at, look at Brave Bird just... Tareem faster? Tareem is faster. She baits Energy Ball too. Alright, so with Polly and one other Pokemon, we can take care of Ludi. Um, it looks like Polly is also phenomenal against Wake, uh, against uh, Floatzel. We just need like two polyrats. <laughs> uh yeah, this we drain punch this walls. Man, thank god polyrath wasn't banned, huh? Thank god we got water absorbed polyrath, huh? Oh shit, knock on wood. Um okay, so what what is what am I um what am I struggling with here? What if Is this one shot? It does with Stealth Rock. And at plus one. Ah, oh, you're barely faster. Bro. Okay, if I switch in Ninjask, does it get a speed boost on that first turn? I don't think so. Yeah. But actually low key energy ball and then U turn like this. That's pretty yummy. That's pretty yummy. Are we bringing fucking ninja ass, baby? Let's do it. Um, for now. Yeah, so. Oh, but if we kill. If we kill Gyarados, then this comes in and we just kill it immediately with, with Leech Life, yeah? Word. Yo, Ninjas kind of kind of cracked. Okay, so right now we have Chimeco, Wigglytuff, Poliwrath, and Ninjask. Ah. Uh.
<laughs> My main concern is that this greatly depends on Gyarados not setting up Dragon Dance and or um, not getting a bunch of crunch drops, which I don't exactly love. Um, and I guess the same can be said about the Float Soul. bunch of ice moves ice moves on everything um but right now okay so here's the plan right now chimeco versus quagsire chimeco kills quagsire or no 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 sorry chimeco sunny days yawns switches to wiggly wiggly sets up I actually kind of love the idea of killing with Wiggly, but I don't think we can get it off. Um, no, actually we could. We just have to switch back twice. Um, but Wiggly, let's say whatever, whatever. We set up Stealth Rock, something kills Quag. This comes in, Aqua Tail does Big damage, but we can go to Polyrath. Polyrath kills this, ideally. Then Ludi comes in. Ludi wants to energy ball. We... It also took... It takes 12.5% from Stealth Rock, plus Life Orb Chip is 2. That's 22%. And then you come in, and with Expert Belt... Oh, it's so close. We don't risk it. We U-turn. No, damn it, dude. Bro, why can't you learn fly? Okay, so we actually we actually don't even expert belt, we leftovers. Um But okay, so we leftovers. Actually, I don't think we want the Yui. I don't think we risk the Yui on turn one. I think on either Hydro Pump or Ice Beam, we go back to Polly. And then Energy Ball baits again, so we go back to Ninjask. And then that'll be two more turns of Life Orb. So that'll be 40%. So that'll guarantee the kill with Leech Life. And then this comes out again, Leech Life dead. So then all that's left is Quag. No, 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 and Polyrath. We, we haven't even, or it's, it's these two. So it's this one next. Then we kill this as well with Polyrath. The thing we'll want is we'll want a contingency play for Crunch, a bunch of defense drops with Crunch and or Ice Punch Freeze. Um, so this is obviously, we'll obviously give this a Lumberry. Does something have aromatherapy? We honestly low-key may bring an aromatherapy mon, but let's look at Polyrath with Water Punch, Drain Punch, Ice Punch. Um, this honestly does okay into itself, but... Like, Hanch would be amazing here if we could get it in for free. But... If actually, because it can't be put to sleep, and Ice Punch is annoying, Drain Punch is annoying, but it actually, look, it doesn't kill if we don't do with Ice Punch, and how much does Flame Throw, uh, Fly do? No, oh, Fly's not enough to kill.
zero attack I'd be come on man um you're coming in presumably on polywhirl so what are you gonna want to do you're gonna want to drain punch so if we drain punch That's a pretty good counter, except it's not dry skin. Son of a crap! Um, Bollocks. How does Parasect do with the Ice Punch? Ugh. We do survive one. But I don't like that. Um... Yeah, it'll have Stealth Rock's chip, but it's a little unreliable because Drain Punch will bring it back. And it's only, what, like, 6% because it's resisted? Um, like, if this was Thick Fat... It's still okay. And we're faster. Bueller? What about Sunny Day Chereem? What about it? <laughs> what does Sunny Day Chereem do? Nothing. Because it's good into Ludi with the uh This is still terrible. Dude, Cherim sucks. What? Dog shit! <laughs> that's that's what about Cherim. Um you, what is what is our answer into Polly? Like a water psychic type, like Starmie, would be yumalicious here, but um, we don't have that, do we? Um, Kingler outspeeds decent amount. What can Kingler learn? Anything? Can Kingler learn Aerial Ace? Kingler's move set or move pool sucks, man. Uh, Chimeco, we're on the right track. I, I don't think Chimeco, like Waterfall, will just do too much to Chimeco, yeah? It's not faster. I mean, that's not terrible damage. Or not. This is a good thing to keep in mind. And it's got ice punch is the it's issue with Eggy. Dig. And I think it, it just gets too much back with drain punch against Kingler, yeah. Ludi would be good here too. Our own Ludi. But like, yep, Psychic Water is what we're looking for. We just don't have it. Um, mask resists all three. And in Tim. But, yeah, a little too shallow, a little too defensively frail for this. Although it will be intimidated, so we could roll the dice a little bit with Intims. I don't hate this mask. Altaria, it's got Ice Punch. Although, let's check, um, do we outspeed? I doubt it. Oh, we do outspeed. What about Moon Blast? 
All right. Solteria is atrocious. <laughs> um, like especially if we put, if we gave it, uh, what should call it? Yachi. Guarantee survive two. Oh, his, his defense is really good. Do we roll the play rough? How oh, is that right? Oh, because fly is not stab. Ugh. But the issue is it's got a citrus berry, so this is a three hit kill. Yeah, I don't, I don't love this. I would like a better answer. I would like something better. Like, Piggy is better than that. Although, I guess the waterfall makes it kind of eh. About Perugly. Drain Punch, obviously, is a big no no. I really like Haunch Crow if I can get it in safely. I guess the answer is you can't. You could always focus sash it, right? But then we're risking out on important damage. I mean, my my wild eats a hit too, right? Yachi berry crow. The issue is that, like, that's that's yeah, not a bad idea. The issue is that we don't one shot it. We would need a boosting item here. Wait a minute. Okay, no way is this true. Yeah, no, Wiggly's not faster, but, and I'm just saying. Life Orb tough? Kind of fire here. Wait, tough eats! And tough will be 45. Yeah, no, this is, this is this doesn't work, but it's close. Um If this was dry skin, we'd have it. Like, I could stall it out, right? Um, Bayonet Polly stall. But... Thanks, obsessive fan number one. Stall out something, waterfall or ice punch, and then profit. But I mean, waterfall or drain punch. We stall out drain punch, then our own Polly eats. Yeah, so apparently, Will, that's not a bad idea. The issue is that it outspeeds, so it could easily just put me to sleep. But I like where your head's at.
I mean, Drain Punch into Ninjask also does nothing, but Ninjask can't do any damage to this. Lumberry? I mean, he's definitely going to have a Lumberry. It's just whether it makes it through all the Ice Fangs it's going to eat on Gyarados and Floatzel before this. Um, so that's a big if anyways. I guess Altaria is probably my best bet here. I don't like that though. Am I am I missing something obvious? Is there something that can outspeed in one shot and we can just put a focus sash on it? Um What if I choice band? Oh shit, yo, wait, hold on. What if I choice band Haunch Crow? We're not faster, so that doesn't work. I don't even know why I was looking at this. What if I choice band Altaria? No. I choice band Altaria. Yeah, no, no, no that doesn't work. That's stupid. Um. Oh wait, can I just choice band Ninjask though to better deal with the? Uh... Ludicolo? Yeah, 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 word. Okay, so that's what we'll do for that. Use Haze and Toxic Polyrath on Gyarados. Polyrath can learn Haze. That's pretty interesting. Is that true? Yeah, I can. Interesting. Good to know. Um. Ah, right, yeah, we'll definitely CB with Jask. Although that means we can't U-turn the float soul. That's fine, we don't do that anyways because Aqua Jet crit kills. All right, all right, all right, all right. Blah, 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 blah. So we have two slots to deal with Polly. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely pluck the berry. That's not a terrible idea. But I, I, the issue is just that Ice Punch does too much. So even if we have, even if we have Yachi, and like Pluck doesn't do enough. <laughs> Good God, Plusle. <laughs> Homie does not take anything. Um. Ninjask's not staying in against Polyrath. Look at this. Ice Punch almost just flat out kills without the crit. Um, God, I wish Volt Switch was a thing here. Um. So, like. <laughs> this is stupid, but Polly, Bayonet, and Perugly kind of funny. Like if we go fake out, return. We whittle away at this bad boy. Although it's just the the damn hypnoses. Princess Mononoke. I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'm sorry. You can I can I can try and give that back to you, but if you want to ask me in a little bit, maybe. Um I, I would like to figure out this battle. Um Dun, 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 dun. 
Having a bad fly or no flying type is making this difficult. Quite difficult. I mean, we get Silk Scarf. Um, this doesn't actually work. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a stupid plan. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, man. This is faster, which is kind of surprising. Can this learn Psychic? God, this Pokemon sucks. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. Like, let's say this even learned Psychic. My god. What am I missing here? There's got to be some answer to this Polyrath that I'm not I'm not seeing. Um Like Piggy mm, It may just be stalling. It may just I may just have to stall it out. Like Bayonet, Bayonet, Poly, Stall, Drain Punch. Then once there's no Drain Punch, um, Poly kills. It's kind of lame. Eggy can't take Ice Punches. Eggy is like offensively frail for some reason, like deceptively. Like it takes one, but how do I get it in safe? How do I make sure we don't just get put to sleep? Like, no. I could Toxic Stall, yeah. With Polly, potentially. Kind of lame. I don't know how much lamer it is than Switch Stalling. Polly's out of drain punches, we can just kill with our own Polly, I guess. Um, I have to make sure we have enough moves on Polly, but I'm going to bring Bayonet. Quagsire, Polyrath, Gyarados, Sharpedo, Floatzel, Ludicolo. That's six. Uh, six. I don't like... These are all fine designs. Um... Six is Polyrath, though. It's kind of stupid. Five is Floatzel. Four is Ludicolo. Three is Gyarados. Two is Sharpedo. One is Quagsire. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Bum, 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 ba -dum. All right. So we probably want something that also takes Crunch and Ice Fang, which, again, would be like an... I guess the steel type, the the Mawile takes both of those moves, baits the water move. So I think we'll just put Mawile on this team. This is good for you. Still a decent amount of damage, but that should be fine. All right, let's do that. What a squad. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these freaking fellas. It's Crawdont not good. Um, I mean, not for Polyrath, but for the other two, maybe. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, low key. I do be kind of forgetting about Crawdon. It's it's shit slow, but that never stopped him before. I mean, honestly, he's not that good, but. Could be worse. You know what? 
Rarely do we get to bring Crawdon. Sorry, Iron Man. Let's bring Crawdon. You've convinced me, Gabby Rui. It's not very good, but... <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Am I really not bringing a grass type? What am I killing? Uh, no, shoot. Actually, sorry. Hold on. What am I killing uh, Quagsire with? Because I gotta bait... I gotta bait Gera. Oh, Wigglytuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got we got weather with uh, Chimey over here. Chime Junior. I want yawn, I want recover, I want sunny day, and I absolutely need a move just in case it comes down to that. So this is what you're going to do. I think... I think we give him the heat rock. No lefties, but that is fine. We got recover, yeah, that's fine. So, um, um, wait, wait, does, does Chiny need... Double crit, I guess, is bad. Whatever. Double crit, so be it. Chimeco dies. Um, all right. So then Mary Jane is next. I think we do give her life orb because that's funny. And we give her rocks. Rocks on the run. Mm -hmm. Moon blast! And we definitely keep D key. DK. DK, he's the doo doo. Um, do I want rest? Wait, does Wiggly lose Hyper Voice if I get rid of it here? Probably doesn't really matter. I don't think we're ever using Wiggly. No, no, no. It gets Hyper Voice lit. Oh, yo. Wiggly also gets Parish Song. Nah. Um, but it does get Disabled. I'm sorry, BP Pony Enthusiast. I think we Stealth Rock and we... Yeah, no, Rest is good just in case. We don't need Hyper Voice. Moon Blast is better and everything. Moon Blast! Got no super effective moves. I guess the one sketchy thing is... No, no, no. It should be fine. What does Life Orb do? Uh, it increases your damage output by 30%, but you get 10 you lose 10% of your HP every turn. The thing is, though, Mary Jane has Magic Guard, so it doesn't take damage from things that... It doesn't take damage from Life Orb, basically. Uh, okay. Taskmaster...
Taskmaster, we give Choice Band. That'll kill Ludi on the switch. Uh, this is fine. Doesn't matter. Um, okay, then Gwyneth over here. Do we have an answer with this squad? Oh, we have a dark type and we have the water type. So if we absolutely have to, we can stall out Sharpedo as well here. Okay. Gwen is really just in case we need to stall out the Ludi. Um, I'm, or not the Ludi, the uh, Quag. What on earth do I give you? I don't even, probably leftovers, I guess. Yo, Drunken Wookie, thank you for the 200 bits. I'm much appreciated, much appreciated. Um, absolutely lum on you. We gotta figure out your moveset too, Chief. Um, What is wrong with this team? I don't even know what to put on this. I guess we just give it a focus dash, honestly. Hail Mary. Um. All right, so what on earth do I teach you? Certainly not low kick. Uh, definitely not rain dance. I think we rock climb here, or uh, rock tomb. I could, I could do. We don't have an Intimidator, which makes the Garrett... Oh, we want to teach it Haze for sure. Um, I think we may have just lost Low Kick. That was actually a little dumb, but whatever. Um, drain Punch is a big one. You can't learn Aerial Ace, right? Yeah. Um... Don't need Brick Break. Don't need Earthquake. Bro, why can't you learn... Why can't you learn Thunder Punch, coward? That's good. With no grass type and no aromatherapy, if he gets frozen twice, we're in trouble. I don't have protect on you. We actually we do need protect on you in case we need to stall things out. Can't get frozen in the sun, correct? But that's only the first thing. Like the sun's gonna go away after eight turns. Um, so so let's 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 uh, uh, count the turns. So Chimeco sunny day turn one, yawn turn two, switch turn three, stealth rocks turn four. Back to back to Chimeco turn five. And then essentially, I think what I want to do is stall until it wakes up. Or stall until we get the sun back up. Reset up sun. And go from there. Um, ah, but... Yeah, it's not going to be that many turns because then I have to go back to Wiggly and Moonblast twice and then switch. So actually... Oh, 
But against Gera, against Gera, the sun should it should be all right against Gera. I actually wonder if I should go Crawdont against Gera. And just get the two shot with Crunch. With lefties. I think I actually go go crawl on into Gera. And then it's float soul. I would much rather deal with Yeah, yeah, because then actually Polyrath comes out. And we're so good there actually. Cuz then we can just go Gwen, Nebula, Kill with Nebula. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm. I'll. I'll. I'll lead Cap. Um, and Cap won't get frozen in the sun. It would have to like double. It would have to like Dragon Dance and then double crit. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like this better. Um, you got lefties. That helps out. You got Lum. We, I think we still want Lum to better deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus Sash. Choice Band. Life Orb. Heat Rock. Okay. Do I want Protect on you? I think I'm okay. Choice Band. So no Protect there. We have Protect on you. We have Protect on you. So with this though then, I don't even need Rock Tomb. Although maybe I should have it just to be safe. Like, can I fit a better move on here? What does Polly learn that's better? Like, does it learn anything that I can do super effective damage into a Floatzel with? Not really. I could throw Toxic, I guess, onto it. Yeah, maybe Toxic is just the best choice. It's kind of lame, but we'll do that. Yeah, Toxic. Better to have the out in case we need it. Big meaty jaws. <laughs> All right. Big Matey Jaws. And we're never using we're never using Crab Hammer on Cap, so we might as well teach him uh knockoff. No, whoa. Alright, let's do it. Let's friggin' do it. Uh, let's do the edging. All right. It took forever, but we're gonna do it. We're ready. It's the only strat I've found for it. Toxic. No, I think I... I think I've, I've toxic... Like, I think I did that, too. It's not lame. I'm just being a pill. Oh, yo, Payback? He's actually fucking nasty on this dude. Wait, do I want payback? Does that just one-shot anything by any chance? Not really. It's 66 to 78% to freaking Gyarados, though. Damn, dude. Yeah, 44 is the cap. I'm edging. This is how I edge.
All right, let's do it. Um, okay. That's new. So, <laughs> uh, okay. If something goes wrong, this is gonna go really wrong. This is like a very risky play because I just don't have a lot of like big damage dealers. So it's going to expose me to a lot more crits and a lot more defense drops and stuff. But I, it's the play we're going with. All right. Let's do it. Never back down, never give up. I like that mentality. Big risk, high reward. Hell yeah, B. Here we go. Crash your wake time. Welcome, and I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria gym leader. That's right, I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. All right. Here we go. He leads with Quagalaggy. Quagalaggy's gonna wanna go for the Aqua Tail. But we outspeed, we set up Sunny Day. So it doesn't do much. Yep, Aqua Tail. Could have missed. That would have been cool. Um, all right. So now we yawn. Ice punch, can't get frozen here. 96 down to 63. All right, so it's gonna go ice punch again. We go Mary Jane. Might go Aqua Tail, but that's fine. That was Two turns, this is the third turn of uh, sun. Okay, decent amount of damage, but now it's asleep. Okay. We set up rocks. Fourth turn of, of sun. They do want to hug each other. Oh, they're like this. 
Um, all right, now we could go for the kill, but if it wakes up an Earthquake crits, that's dead Mary Jane, so we're gonna go Echo here. Um, that's five turns. This is fifth turn. So normally it would be over. Great, it stays asleep, so we can recover here. Oh, and it stays asleep again. You know why that's huge? Because we can psychic it now and guarantee that Wig kills. Um, we never crit kill here. Although actually, I'm not gonna psychic because it may think, it may wanna switch. It may switch on the Psychic. It may see that it has the uh, the immune Pokemon. And the Psychic may cause it to switch, which would be devastating. It's very unlikely, but I ain't risking it. I ain't friggin' risking it. So we're just gonna recover here. I have to stay to sleep again. Um, all right, does this work out? It actually does because we're gonna recover here. This should, is this now the last turn? But Ice Punch is 129 down to 93. Okay, a crit there would have been bad. Um, ooh, you know what though? That's a little annoying actually because now the sun is gone. I got a yawn. Uh, no, no, no. I got a sunny day because it's going to Aquatail. Ah! That was the last turn of sunny day. So this is one again. That's fine. Don't crit. Okay. We're, we're good. Uh, we're back in the sun. Aquatail does a high roll of 72 if it crits. So we got to recover here. Um, we may need to recover stall unless it misses a, uh, an Aqua Tail. No, 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 right. It goes Ice Punch now. Okay, that's fine. 121 down two. That's a crit. Um, okay, so we have to recover again. That's two turns of sun. Three turns of sun. 108 down to... That's another crit! Stop it! <laughs> it's actually really bad. That's four turns. I gotta... I gotta... That's five turns. That's fine, though. We recover again here. Six. I think this may actually work out. Just don't crit again here, and then we're fine. Okay. We lose the sunny day though, I think here. Um, I guess it's okay. Yawn. That was the sixth turn. I think I have to switch here. So we're not going to have the sun for, for Gyarados, which is relatively okay. I think. That's actually fine. Is it? Is Crawdon still okay here? Ah, uh, no, because now Aqua Tail. Ah, uh, but we have to. Because I, I fucked up and didn't do the, uh, wait, at plus one.
Okay, plus one, we're still fine to a crit. Oh shit, you know what? I forgot that this is gonna be at 75%, so payback would actually just two shot. Or could could just one shot. Um So I could go for a recover here and try and reset up the sun. But I think that's too risky. Because I've only got three recovers left. I think I gotta go Mary Jane. But I think my, maybe now it's better to just toxic stall the uh, nebula. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Good job, Wig. I'm we I'm wiggly tough. If it's the last thing that I do, I wig your tough. I wig out for you. So I bear my skins and I count my sins. So, um, well, let's start with a moon blast. The issue is that draining kiss will get me back HP, but I honestly think it might be better. I can, I can Moonblast and then Draining Kiss, and that guarantees the kill on this Quag. But it might honestly be better to not gain back HP so that Gyarados sees the kill with Aqua Tail instead of trying to go for Dragon Dance. And then we get a free switch into Poly and go from there. So I think we actually don't recover HP. Mary Jane's done. Just moon blast twice and call it a day. Guaranteed turn of sleep there, so that's perfectly safe. Sun's gone, which sucks, but it is what it is. Moon blast kills. So uh, this is life or boosted moon blast. Moon blast! All right, Quag dead. Gyarados does see the kill with Aqua Tail. Yep, all, always. Mineral, 93%. Um, now, we did just get rid of Rock Tomb for Toxic on Polly, So we have to go for the Toxic play. But I, if we can just Toxic Haze, and that should be fine. Um... Uh, If we go hard poly here on presumably the Aqua Tail. Yep. Okay. And then we Toxic here. Yeah, so it goes Dragon Dance. The plus one. Fuck, we miss. That's bad. Uh, let's not do that again, Polyrath, please. Okay. Wake has hyper potions, I think, so full restores are fine. Eat shit, Gyarados. All right, question. Do we think if we drain punch, it dies here? We drain punch plus poison, right? 
Worst case, I guess, it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ball. Yeah, so this is Ludi. Luda! Got it. Ain't shit! <laughs> All right. Ludicolo. Take some chip. We go to Taskmaster, presumably on... Well, presumably on Fake Out or Energy Ball. Should never be Hydro Pump or Ice Beam. You know what's wild? Ninjask outspeeds this under Rain. And now with that chip, Leech Life kills. We're banded. Good job, Taskmaster. This should bring out Sharpedo. We speed tie this at plus one. That's pretty wild. Chip to break its sash. And leech life. I would love to U-turn here, but we have to do this to get the banded damage. Honestly, though, actually, mm, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done banded for that reason. Because then I could have U-turned and gone in for free. But now we got floaty. You float too. Lotzel sees kill on Aqua Tail and Ice Punch, so it's either or. Um, I think we go Capitan here and see if he can get it done. Big if. Oh no, we Gucci. All right, Captain. Oh, Captain, my cap. All right, no freeze. Love to see it. All right, homie. Let's see that one shot. Right? It's gonna take, it's gonna be at 30%, right? Oh yeah, no, this absolutely one shots then. Let's go, buddy. Eat that aqua tail, you bad boy. Good job, Cap. That was actually a crap load of damage for a resisted Aqua Tail. Boom. Got it. Got it. All right, one more. Oh, right, it, it learns payback now anyway, so that would have been cheating. Although, actually, Payback was a TM, right? Um, good to know it can get this. That's interesting. Muy, muy interesting. It's kind of huge on adaptability crawdon. All right. Um, this is where things get a little interesting. Should always see the kill here with Drain Punch. But as long as I'm patient, we should have no issue with this fight. Still always sees the kill with DP, so we're gonna go Gwen.
Low key, we uh, have a focus sash here, so there's kind of no reason to not deal damage with it. But, actually, can I burn it? That would be kind of fun. Five percent of the time it works every time. Let's go. That was fun. Alright, time to just slowly torture this guy. Here we go. You can you can go to Nebula. We're good to go. There can only be one! I'm gonna toxic you now. You're burned, homie. You're burned. That was a crit. Come on. Come on. You know what? It's fine. You, you can't win this. You straight up can't win this. So get all of my shit RNG out of the way. Uh, we're going to activate a hyper potion. Oh, well. Never mind. We will not activate a hyper potion. Now we will kill you. <laughs> Sweet. I cannot stress how difficult this fight would have been if Polyrath had been banned or not water absorb. So, this is me being like, Every time I complained about an ability or whatever. Chill. Chill, Mati. Chill. I guess we would have just used Parasect, but it would have been harder. We would have had to do a lot of stalling. Money, as they say. Hunwa! It's gone and ended! And you know how you guys were complaining that I got Shimeko instead of Nosepass? Well, you I bet you feel really foolish now because we've used Chimeco in two gym fights. In fact, we used Ninjask in two gym fights too. Remember when you guys were complaining about that? Gongus, yo, how's it going? Oh crap, I am late. I have to be somewhere at four. That is not happening. Alright, well, um let's end stream real quick here. What's the new level cap? Can somebody exclamation mark level caps? Shut up, Barry. 53. Ooh. Big. Big jump. All right. Um, and that's how you beat Crash Awake without a super effective Pokemon into water. Somehow we did that. That was kind of cool. Uh, what was it? 53. Lots of optionals on Tuesday. Yeah, maybe Tuesday. Um, maybe Sunday, honestly. We'll see. Um, we'll see how my weekend looks. But uh, we're getting to the point of the game where it gets a tinge tedious. But we can start being a little more reckless with sacking stuff into the major difficult fights. Because there aren't that many left other than the Elite Four and uh, Cyrus. Um, the next two gym leaders, I think, are pretty straightforward. Actually, Candace, I guess, is tough. But Byron's super simple. We just have Derek... 
uh, a couple Cyrus fights, the the Mount Pyre fight or whatever. But um, all right, we're got five gym badges. Let's hop into a raid here. I'm gonna just send you over to Drew. He's playing Sterling Silver, I guess. Um, Go do that. Go spam some blah blah blahs. I really got to get running. Um, I will see everybody at some point soon, I hope. Okay? Um, thanks for hanging out. This was a fun stream. We're, we're doing good. Okay. Okay. Peace.